Hi, you're welcome Hi. to another video. Uh, we're going to try and attempt to make a concrete sink. Fingers crossed. If you've seen our Instagram stories recently, um, we've been mixing, uh, playing around with powder pigment. To see if we can get close to a sort of peachy coloured look for a concrete basin. My own sweet. Well, we'll just give it a go. <laughs> we've got yes. what we think close enough. Yeah. We tried like with a mould, like a little cactus mould. Um, it came out quite relatively like a like it was like a beautiful room, really, yeah. wasn't it? So we're hoping that we can achieve this thing. I'll uh, show you now how what we've got. Okay, so we got a bowl from BM. Yeah. Show it. Well that's the it's that way up. Yeah. For the inside that shape of the sink. Yes. We've got a um stool top from like an old stool that we had at our old house. Um we've got Powder pigment. Powder pigment. What else have we got, Andrew? So you can see it around the edge. Yep. And also a fitted that will form the shape of the, the connector to the waste. Yep. And a few tools and then this, which hopefully will form the outside mould for the ed flat edge of the sink. Yes. And then a few uh, bits and pieces, hopefully uh, tools and then. Yeah, well we'll show you we'll show you how we get on anyway, but yes. So far, so good. <laughs> So first job, I need to get that in exactly the right position and I don't want it to move. So what I thought was if I secure that to there, then I can then screw that in place and then that won't move anywhere. And then we can silicon seal around the outside and then that piece is then done. So that's the first job. There we go, piece of wood in place. So now it's about getting that in the centre. Get to it, maybe. That's about right. Look centre to you. Move my OCD, let's have a look. I'd say that looks pretty yeah. central. Do you think the bowl is going to like defeat us? No, it's <laughs> yeah. I can't put a screw straight into it. <laughs> So now it's all in place, hopefully central. Um, you're going to silicon seal. Not going anywhere. Yeah. Love a bit of silicon sealing. Normally your job. Yeah, we had to do this a lot at our old house when we were renovating. But I'm going to allow you to do it. I'll smooth out afterwards. Okay, we were all getting a little worried. <laughs> so. We'll do this so that the uh, concrete doesn't leak into the into the uh, mould, and then we'll need to leave this to dry now. That sits on there. Obviously, we'll, that sits within the sink, so we need that shape on the inside shape of the sink. So that's going to sit on there, and the concrete's going to form around it. So I'm just wrapping it in duct tape just to protect it, and also add a bit of a bit extra shape to it. So we've got a bit of millimetre or so to play with. Silicon seal to um, seal it to the bowl. 
hopefully it'll work because we've realised we haven't got any glue. So let's just hope it works. And we're using this um, as instead of like a first vex for the mould to keep the... Because it hasn't arrived. Yeah, because it hasn't arrived. Um, it's, uh, and we're a little bit impatient. We found this in the garage. It's basically um, quite structured but still bendy. So we'll be able to put it around the mould and it will hold the concrete, hopefully. <laughs> but we need it to be about 100 centimetres. We've just tried to, we've just sort of measured up the, uh, the size of the mould. Yeah, we need about 100 centimetres. So we're going to cut that and then use the silicone seal to um, attach it to the mould. Around the edge. So we've got the um, Perspex substitute, if you like. <laughs> um, we're going to basically put a load of screws around the edge to secure it because we don't want it to we don't want the concrete to push out and it not make the uh, mould as smooth as possible and structured So we've done some screws around the edge, so it's screwed to the um, stool top um, and we've put some duct tape around as well for mould and now we need to silicon seal before we leave it for a while to dry, maybe an hour or two Yeah. and then we should be able to pour the concrete. So we silicon seal this area as well and when it comes to making the mould, when it comes out it will obviously need sanding to smooth out that bit. Just be a bit of a lip, just level Yeah, we just need to sand it good and proper when it's set. So we were very restrained and decided to let it, let the silicon dry overnight. <laughs> very sensible. So we're going to make the cement mix now. Okay, so first off, we've set up in the garage and um, we need to try and get it level basically because mm. obviously where the mould's going to sit that needs to be level no one here <laughs> the garage isn't very level so we've got four spades full of sand and we haven't got weigh scales big enough to actually weigh so we're, <laughs> we're doing it in spades right. <laughs> and then we'll have four spades of cement yeah and we've got two bowls and of Seco or water. <laughs> water to get it to a nice cake like consistency, and then we think we're gonna use the full one, um, the full one of this, which is about just about 45 grams left in this one now. So we think we'll just use the whole lot. Let's get some water in then. Decided to swap over to the bigger bucket <laughs> so we can give it a really good stir. And uh, yeah, we've mixed the cement and the sand together now. So we're going to start adding water and just add as much as we think we're going to need, really, to get it looking like a sort of cakey. The orange is going in. All of it. All. Whoa. About 45 grams worth. Oh, it's so sparkly. <laughs> so we've put about a litre and a half water in so far. Uh -huh. Right. What do you think? You need much more? No, I think it's alright. It's about, about a litre and a half of water. So we keep giving it a really good mix, make sure all that orange is mixed in nicely and there's no lumps. So now we start putting it in the mould. And uh, yeah, it's really weird. It's like making like a jelly. <laughs> <laughs> 
looks like we've made exactly the right amount for a thick mould. What are the chances? That's mental. Yeah, so we need to start giving it a good old tap. Get all the bubbles out. Um, really flatten it out. That is so weird. Lola, go away. So, Andy's been um, giving it a good bashing, getting all the bubbles out so that it doesn't they don't set in the mould. <laughs> and yeah. Um, yeah, they are coming out. So, we'll be doing this for probably another sort of five minutes or so, won't you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I made a cup of tea. <laughs> and then we will leave this for probably a couple of days. See how we get on. And then hopefully we can easily take it away from the mould. <laughs> so we're a day and a half later and it looks pretty set. So we're going to attempt like it. to take off the... What is it? Like a perfect type thing, isn't it? Whatever. Yeah. yeah. Dust. Hmm. See how it goes. It's not looking very peachy coloured at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> it's obviously not properly dry, but. Right, then let's do this. Oh, I'm nervous. Right, so we're just going to unscrew the dirt the screws. Okay, the big reveal. <laughs> it's going to need a lot of sanding yeah. and hopefully, and some more drying out. Definitely. We're thinking that if we didn't use this, like as a, if we needed to do it again and use more of the orange mixture, then we could still use this as a downstairs yeah, toilet one, couldn't we? Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's going to be a grey sink for that. Yeah. The orange doesn't work, but... Right. I think it does need more time to dry out though, doesn't it? Well, once the mould's off, it can dry a bit better, can't it? Yeah. And the silicon's done its job anyway. Wow. wow. That looks pretty smooth, actually. Pretty good. Even the um, the the part where we, they had overlap yeah, don't doesn't look like it needs much sanding. I think that's quite orange on the sides. Oh, that's good. I, I can't probably side, see. You see the light on this side. Oh right, yeah. Okay. Once that starts drying, that might actually be a little bit more. And you know, even though you've got these little little holes here, I like a little bit of texture with the concrete as well. Yeah, yeah. I think that's cool. Perfect. This is what the sink's looking like at the minute. Uh, we did it Monday morning, we made it um, and we took it out of the mould Tuesday night. So this is now Wednesday night and we are, well, it's pretty dry. Seems to be. It's pretty smooth. And he thinks that we probably could get away with not sanding it, but giving it a really good clean yeah, before off. it's sealed. Yeah, maybe sand the top bit because it's yeah. Not flat. Yeah, definitely. It's not smooth, but the edge. It is um, looking like a... I mean, it's, in terms of the, the colour, I'd say that it is closer to a... It's not grey again. It's closer to like a peachy colour. That's the, just the pure grey. Yeah. Yeah, definitely so you can simple. see... A bit of a difference. It's hard to see on the camera actually. I think once we've got it out properly and it'll we'll get a better idea. Oh, <laughs> oh no, fail. Just died. <laughs> oh. Whoa. Wow. <laughs> wow. wow! How good is that? That's amazing. So impressed with this. I think we're gonna have to have a concrete <laughs> sink business. This is amazing. I am. Um, I that the color looks really good. 
I think. I don't yeah. think you can properly tell on the camera. It's definitely but pinky. when it dries out, I think it's definitely going to be like the sort of colour that I was thinking. And at least we know how much she used. But I'm so impressed. So what we'll do now is leave it, I think, for... Leave it a little bit longer, maybe another day or so. Yeah. Day or two to dry, because we're not in a rush. Dry out completely and buy a sealant. Give it a really good clean and then um, seal it. But I'm so impressed. That looks amazing. Okay, so this is five days later. We probably could have left it about 48 hours. But we thought we'd just give it as much time as possible to dry out. Um, it's still looking like a peachy colour, I think, if you compare it to concrete. And um, very impressed with it. We're going to basically now use blood wood block and some sandpaper and give the top bit sand and underneath the sand. It's just a little bit like bumpy underneath. took around five minutes and it's pretty flat now that's all we needed for it to be flat I can actually see the bottom so pretty happy with that probably worth investing if you're doing them um, as a business in like some sort of sander oh, so you get it be, totally yeah, smooth anyway. yeah but for this we're happy with that it's pretty smooth at the bottom do it very lightly on the top because we just we quite like the texture so we don't mind if it's a little bit formed if you like but just a little bit there and then we are good to go with the sealing. Just a quick wipe with an antibacterial wipe before we give before we crack on with sealing. So we're using a sealer um like a one coat one we've just been we've just experimented with it on this um so the seal's on there it's not on this bit and then with you, when you put water on it, obviously you can't see it all on this bit, it but you can on this. It works, yay! And we have ordered um, a concrete sealer, which will be coming next week, which we will use with, like, we'll try it out with another sink. And um, as we want to make sure that for the concrete work tops that we're going to have in the kitchen, that we get something that's um, resistant to wine, <laughs> etc. as well. And cooking. Obviously. And cooking, yes. We thought this would work well for our little experiment. Okay, so we've finished sealing. I'm going to leave it to dry now for a couple of hours. And then she should be good to go. I'm very, 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 very impressed. And like I say, we can try out the, seal, the other sealer that we uh, get for other items, but it's looking good right now. And we have finished the sink. In some sheer beauty, if I do say so myself. Yep, she is sanded, sealed, and good to go in the uh, my ensuite. It actually looks a little bit more of a blush colour, and then it looks on the camera, um, which came from 50 grams of the orange pigment. Um, so I think I will pretty much do the same thing again. So I've got a couple of the same sort of coloured sink, um, and there are some little bubbles which we like, I like a bit of texture with it however if you, you know, you didn't want you want much more like a smoother finish well if you get the clear perspex rather than the colour perspex that we use around the edge um, you, you'll be able to see where the bubbles are and really make sure you bash all the bubbles out so yes, but we are very happy with it got a little bit of inspo with it from my ensuite as well black tap um, yes, but that is I was making a concrete sink. Um, so stay tuned for more tutor well, more DIY projects, hopefully tutorials if they work out. And um, we will continue to put little site updates as well. Thanks for watching as always.